Hello YouTube and welcome to the Indie Evolution channel. Today we're going to be doing tutorial mission 2 of the game Anti-Squad. This one's going to be going over the, looks like the cover system for the game. Um, and we're just going to... jump right into it here meanwhile two more team members Sonny and Rose undertook part of a rescue mission to free cactus you must accomplish this part of part to successfully withdraw the whole team from drug cartel territory okay so apparently when we were rescuing cactus there were two other team members uh, also involved in another part of Mexico Let's look around. While there are two armored enemies present, we will not be able to deal with the entire group at once. Okay, I'm taking it these large gentlemen here are armored. Um, they are wearing those tank tops. Acid burn. Rose throws and... Okay. I have special skills, especially for times like this. Armor destroying acid. I need to get in close for it to work though. I can't throw armor destroying acid more than two squares away from me. And throw it right into the center of the group. Only then will the effect hit both armored enemies. need to monitor the amount of action points has left you need to monitor the amount of action points has left I'm going to take it that I need to monitor the amount of action points that Rose has left okay and apparently this is where I move and it's going to cost me 48 action points now I notice when she moves it only costs her six action points where it costs the other guy ten. So there are going to be some differences between the um, characters outside of just their winning personalities. So we can now select. Okay. So once you select the, the appropriate grid point, that is when it becomes, you know, when your actions become available. So we will throw the acid to that particular grid point. Now it's my turn. I need to move to the next cell and use bullet storm ability. If you highlight a cell in the center of the enemy group, the fire will go through the area. I can take out all the enemies at once. I, I promise you I'm not going to keep doing these silly voices. Okay, we'll move. okay, so it takes him actually 20 um, to move into position, it looks like. Now we'll aim in the center. No. Okay, and here we go. This is his bullet storm attack. That's impressive. That's it. Death in one simple move. This guy is like my favorite character now. <laughs> oh, wow. Did those guys just come out of a clown car? What was that about? Okay, we will end our turn here. Well, I don't think I want to complete the tutorial. I think I just want to end my turn. They called for reinforcements. Smoke screen. Rose covers the area with smoke. Jeez. It's a good idea to create a smoke screen. Enemies can't shoot a target they can't see. Use the smoke screen. I don't mind if I do. This game is nicely animated. I do like the, the cartoon feel. It's not a problem. I can concentrate. I can fire more shots per turn and destroy them all at once. This guy is... This guy is really concerned about killing as many people as possible uh, 
in a very efficient manner. He wants to get all these guys out of here. Um, I'm not sure what this ability is. Monitor the indicators above my head. Right now, they indicate a temporary effect. Concentration. Okay. So we'll now in turn, and we can see that uh, we can see by the swirly graphic here that he is locked into Zen-like concentration. Okay. And we have our instructions here. We're going to kill them all. I had a couple alternate plans, but apparently that's not uh it's not what it's all about here. So Okay. So my bullet storm ability is actually recharging right now. Uh, and the tutorial has kind of taken the the locks off. I am kind of free to do as I please here and I have 110 action points but every time I shoot I'm going to use 20 action points so take that guy down oh crap that's out of his range okay We'll move closer this way. Oh, he can't move in concentrate mode. Well, that sucks because he also can't shoot any of these guys in concentrate mode. Okay, so we'll move on to Rose here. Who has 72 AP, but her smoke has cleared. Now wait a second. Is this telling me that if I move here, I'm going to spend 66 action points? That seems a, that seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? Oh, okay. If I move there, I'll have 66 action points left. Go ahead and open fire on these gang member assaulters. And so far I haven't missed any shots yet. Oh, and this will leave me with 12 action points. Oh, not quite enough to make my shot though. Okay. And okay. You can tell this is a tutorial because he just stands there. That's right! Yes, he did just stand there. Gentlemen, you were so loud you woke up the all the local thugs. Luckily, the way has been cleared for Teddy and Cactus. So let's move out. It's not easy to run with a shotgun in your hands. I'll cover the best I can. Just sprint and don't look back. Gentlemen, you were so loud you woke up okay. Okay. Reach the bottom of the screen in a compact formation. Why does this seem to me to be the top of the screen? Okay, so we need to stay close here. Oh, wait a second. Okay, she's a little more mobile. So. Oh, okay, I don't have to actually go to them to get their gear. Yes, I understand. You need to stay close to Sunny. I gotcha.
Okay. For some reason, I feel like I kind of missed something. Like, it doesn't... I don't think this is supposed to... <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to go this way for some reason. The situation calls for it. I have to apply stimulator. We need a special delivery. No problem. I got some cash on me. Select me and click twice my portrait. What? Okay. Select me and click my portrait twice, I think he means. Awesome. Let's see what I can find. his equipment. The stimulator is already selected. Now you can click on an empty slot in the backpack. Tap right on the slot. Okay. And for the low cost of 36,000 gold doubloons, uh, they will drop ship me a thing of Red Bull apparently. Blue Bull. It's an expensive service, of course, but it's just what's needed. I'm waiting for delivery. Man, we'll deliver. Awesome, I got the stimulator. We're ready to proceed. Okay. Sorry for breaking the fourth wall there. Okay, and stimulator... Reach the bottom of the street in a compact... Why does it say that this is the bottom of the street? I don't really understand that. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and... Oh, okay. Well, I can't shoot at him, so I guess now that he has the stimulator... Need to run exactly in the center, then no one will have time to notice. Everyone will move a lot faster this way. We're out of here. Okay, so I guess by cover it meant she was covering him, uh, not to do with the game's cover system, if the game has a cover system. So. Alright, well that's going to be the end of tutorial video number two. Showed us a few things about combat and about using our character's special abilities. Um, so far this doesn't look too bad. I mean, obviously this is not Jagged Alliance, but it's a, a simpler kind of fun, easy to pick up game. Um, and uh, by the way, there is a, a Jagged Alliance remake that's coming out. It was brought to an attention, my attention by uh, Valo Way, one of my subscribers. Um, and I will definitely be looking into that game and seeing about getting some kind of early access um, so that we can take a look at that. But right now it's all about anti-squad. And uh, we will be bringing you tutorial video number three here shortly. Indie Evolution Channel, in Gamer. Peace.